What's up, everybody? When you're in the right relationship, things are flying high and things are going really well. But when you're in the wrong relationship, it can drain you mentally, physically, spiritually. And there's a reason why your relationship is draining you. In fact, in this video, I'm going to give you three reasons why your relationship might be draining you. So stay tuned. The first reason why your relationship might be draining you is that you might be trying to be right instead of trying to be happy. Oh my goodness, can that be exhausting? Anytime you're seeking to be right, you're probably not also seeking to be happy. Let me tell you what I mean by that. Our egos have us wanting to believe that the way we see the world is the correct way, that what we think about the world is correct, that what we believe is correct. And so when we're in a relationship with another human being who equally has free will and the ability to think how he or she wants to think, then we try to control that person. We try to say, listen, you need to think the way I think. You need to believe what I believe. And so we work really hard to be right. And unfortunately, whereas we might think being right makes us happy, the truth is it doesn't. Being right can often make us feel awfully lonely. If your relationship is draining you, it might be because you keep trying to be right in the relationship, when really the question I want to ask you is, would you rather be right or would you rather be happy? Now, I posed that question about, oh, I'm going to say almost 20 years ago, to a high school student, and the high school student said to me at the time, I would rather be right. I'll never forget. Three weeks later, she walked back in my office and she said, Actually, I'd rather be happy. And I think that's true for all of us. We think that we want to be right so badly. Oh, I want to be right. But we only want to be right because we feel insecure, because we believe that we're somehow less than. And if we're right, we're somehow more than. The problem with playing this one up, one down game is that sometimes we're up and then we feel wonderful, except then sometimes we're down and we feel bad. The truth is life isn't about being right or wrong. At the end of the day, no one's gravestone says, hey, this person was right 396 million times. Instead, we talk about the legacy we leave. In your relationships, if you're striving to be right, you're not also striving to be happy. So I would invite you to strongly consider if your relationship is draining you to question whether or not maybe you're striving too much to be right rather than striving to connect. The second reason why your relationship might be draining you is you are trying to fix your partner. <laughs> we think when we meet someone, oh, this person is this, right? We have all these projections and ideas about what the other person's going to be. And then when we're in the relationship, we find out that that person can't possibly live up to all those projections and expectations that we had. And so we often try to fix the person into what we want that person to be. The problem with that is people are who they are. And if you're in a relationship to try to fix your partner to be who you want that person to be, rather than accept that person for who he or she is, then you're in for a whole lot of unhappiness. You're in it for being drained. Your relationship can drain you if all you're doing is trying to fix your partner. So I would strongly advise you to consider not trying to fix your partner, but instead trying to evaluate who your partner is. And then ask yourself, do you really want to be with your partner or not? Because maybe you don't. Maybe you want to be with the idea that you've created about your partner. Maybe you want to be with who you want your partner to be, rather than who your partner actually is. So if you're spending a lot of time trying to fix your partner, then you're probably being drained. And I wanna say this too, we think that we have all the answers and it comes back to that first problem in relationships draining you of trying to be right all the time. We think, well, if you just listen to me, then everything would be wonderful. And the problem with that is just the way your problems can't be fixed with a just do this in the same way your partner's problems can't be fixed by just doing this. So be mindful. If you're trying to fix your partner, then it's probably draining you. Instead of trying to fix your partner, evaluate where your partner really is. Because there's oftentimes a vast difference between 
who our partner is and who we want our partners to be. And the bigger the difference, the more drained we will be. If you're feeling drained in your relationship, it might very well be because you are trying to fix your partner. My advice? Hmm. Try not doing that. The third reason why your relationship might be draining you is you're in your relationship because you think you have to be rather than actually wanting to be in your relationship. A lot of times people will say, well, we've been together for X amount of time and so I don't want to have wasted that time. So you stay together longer even though you are unhappy. And the question I have for you is, why stay in that relationship? You think, well, I need to stay in this relationship or I have to stay in this relationship, but you don't. You have one life. This is your life. This is it. So instead of spending time in relationships that are not healthy for you, get out of them. Move on. It will hurt. There's going to be pain. There are going to be times when your relationship, when you get out of a relationship that you feel a lot of emotional pain. But one thing I want to remind you is there is a beginning, middle, and end to all emotional pain. So eventually, this too shall pass. When it comes to relationships, so often I have seen people try to stay in relationships because they feel like they have to stay in the relationship versus wanting to stay in the relationship. Now, I'm not talking about jumping ship as soon as things get difficult because that's not what I mean at all. That's a very big difference between jumping ship when things get difficult and recognizing once you step back that, wait a minute, this really isn't the person for me, or I just feel like we have to move to the next step. I can't tell you how many times in more than 20,000 hours of clinical counseling experience, I've had uh, couples say, well, we're supposed to get married because that's the next step, when really they're completely unhappy with one another. It's happened countless times. So if it's happening to you and you feel drained in your relationship, then my feedback for you is to step back and question, are you in your relationship because you truly want to be in your relationship or are you in it because you feel like you have to be? Once you figure out the answer to that question, you'll really start to get a better sense of why your relationship is draining you. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and share this video with a friend. There could be someone out there who's struggling in a relationship and that person might feel drained and not know why. So, hey, let's pass this along, share it with them. And until next time, I wish you much peace.